you can very easily fold a cone from a circle. We'll start with a rectangular strip of paper 29.6 cm long and 8.8 .8 cm wide. This is from an old photocopy paper. Now fold this strip along the length into 16 equal parts. First mark the midpoint, open and then bring both the edges to the midline to fold the quarters. Open the strip and place one of the ends on the quarter line to fold the one eighths. This is called as modular folding. If you continue to fold in this particular manner, then the whole rectangular strip would be divided into 16 equal parts. Now you can see the 16 parts. Now upturn the strip and then take a scale and a used ball pen refill without the ink. The purpose now place the scale along the diagonal of the rectangle and score the diagonal with a used ball pen refill and then crease it well. Now do this for all the 16 diagonals of each rectangle. Score them with a old ball pen refill without any ink and then crease them. This is how the whole strip would look like. The diagonals would be in one direction and the vertical lines would be in the opposite direction. Finally, fold one strip, cut it and discard it so that only 15 remain. And now as you gather the folds of the strip, it will automatically fold into a kind of a circular rosette. flatten and crease it well and if you place it on the table this model will rise like a spiral staircase. Now open the strip once again and fold it in half along the length. Crease the midline and then with a cutter cut along this midline Now you will get two exactly similar half strips. Take one half strip and as you gather its folds, it will just fold into a very regular circle. Mind you, there are just 15 sections in the strip. Now this is how you make a circle from a strip. This is the bottom view and now you mark the perimeter one edge of the strip and mark it from 1 to 15. On gathering the folds you will soon discover that the circumference of the circle was equal to the length of the strip and there are just 15 sections. Now cut off four sections from this strip of 15 so that only 11 remain, once again gather the folds of the strip and if you bring the two edges together and lock them up, you will find a very nice cone. It's a self-locked cone. This is the under view and this is the top view of the self lock cone made from a circle. Open, this, open the cone, make it into a strip. Well earlier there were 11 sections, now cut two more sections so that only 9 remain. And if you were to gather the folds of this strip and make a and again make a cone out of it this cone would be a slightly narrower cone than the earlier one so here is a fun way of folding a cone with the help of a circle and the circle with the help of a rectangular strip 